this video, I will show you how to create a flyer or poster for your webinar without using any Photoshop or PageMaker. Uh, so you can make a flyer uh, uh, to give information about the uh, registration link or to give information about the website that you have created or if there is any last date for registration or not, what will be your webinar platform, Zoom or Google Meet or um, uh, YouTube Live etc information can be given in a flyer or poster. In your computer, you can simply right click and get new PowerPoint file here, Microsoft PowerPoint and you can create a flyer or poster here. Uh, so if you don't want to use Google slide, you can have a poster right here. But I would like to make a poster in Google slide. Uh, the advantage of Google slide is that uh, this slide uh, is updated uh, in uh, Google Drive so you can access your slide anywhere anytime you don't have to uh, rely on your uh, hardware devices or in which you have created your uh, poster so uh, the process is uh, more or less same uh, this PowerPoint presentation whatever you can do here uh, you can do it in Google slide so the process is same even you can download your uh, Google slide as a PowerPoint uh, file so let's make our flyer in Google slide so go to uh, Google Chrome browser here just click here in the nine dots and get you get your Google slides okay so you can see uh, I have to create a new slide uh, so I'm clicking this plus button and uh, so you can see the interface is more or like same so first uh, let me choose a theme uh, let's keep it simple uh, maybe this theme okay I'm choosing this theme and I think there will be two page uh, flyer or two page uh, poster so let me have another page okay in first slide I would like to keep uh, just delete this uh, title of my webinar uh, and who are the resource persons date of my webinar so I have all the information gathered in a single word file uh, so in every step this informations are going to be handy uh, so let me copy this and I can paste it simply here by clicking insert text box this is the symbol for text box okay so click it here so let me put a text box here and I can paste I can choose the formatting option like this and I can also choose the size this is Arial and maybe I want it like 12 this is bold okay if uh, space permit then I will increase the uh, font size later okay now this thing is like okay and now I have to put the time and date and insert another text box here paste here I can decrease the line spacing by like this I can also decrease line spacing here by like uh, remove space so that I can increase the font size no, 13 is good enough okay I can have a background color also of this box uh, suppose I can give a background color maybe highlight color um, text box color maybe um, fill color maybe slightly oh this is too much maybe slightly like this okay and now I want to introduce uh, our resource persons here 
and the registration links and the website links will be given here and this all information are actually needed I can put uh, the picture of precious person here and uh, give little information about them uh, so I have to go to insert image and upload from computer So these are the photos of a issues person so I have to write about them you see and I can uh, similar way uh, put their details uh, exactly below their images So in similar way, I have to put all the details about the resource persons. Now I have to write about the platform of our webinar like Zoom or Google Meet. So I want our webinar to be in Google Meet. So let's write it here. okay what are other information I would like to give um, uh, maybe about uh, the last date of registration uh, and the registration link this should also be given so let me give here So how can I close this uh, registration? Uh, so you remember, I have created uh, my Google form uh, from Google Docs. And you see, uh, in this Google form, I can see that uh, this form is accepting uh, responses okay so at midnight of 6 9 2020 when I want to close the registration I have to check this button not accepting responses if anybody wants to register after uh, uh, 6 9 2020 uh, they will get this message this form is no longer accepting responses or I can customize this response message I can write uh, the last date of registration is over so this message can be shown for now I am accepting responses okay so by this process I can close the registration process um, after 6 9 2020 
and what are the other information that i should give uh, if uh, the uh, webinar platform is google meet then the participant needs google meet link to join so i have to write that the link will be emailed before uh, the webinar And also another important information is about e-certificate. okay i am almost done uh, one small uh, one more small thing i should upload our college logo here uh, so let me upload my logo okay uh, sometimes it is easier to put uh, the registration link in as qr code so anybody can scan this code and can directly go to this registration form link or maybe to our website so there are many online qr code generator uh, so let me go to one so in this qr code generation i just want to give them two links one is of our website and another is one for the registration so just simply paste your links here and this will be showed as a qr code so i can write here what are they and i can download this save image make it smaller place it here Now this is done and last thing I can write about my website that I have created here. okay now in the second page i simply want to give the details about the organizers uh, who are the coordinator and other people now the poster or banner is almost done so uh, i have 
given every details that is required uh, to register or participate in this webinar in this green box also i have mentioned the last date of registration our resource persons and uh, link for our website and who are the organizers of this webinar so every details can be found here so now you can download uh, from google slides uh, you can download this uh, poster as a jpg or pdf uh, simply go to file download as a pdf okay that's easy i can also download it as a jpg or anything i want png now this pdf or jpgs uh, can be shared uh, via social media or whatsapp or anything so that people can register to our event uh, in our next video i will show you how to uh, collect the responses from different participants and uh, how to schedule google meet link uh, for organizing this webinar uh, and uh, get the shareable meeting link uh, stay tuned for our next video and thank you for watching